Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Freilich, Consultant in Clinical Neurophysiology. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how we perform quantitative EMG using a Keypoint Dontnod software on a Dantec Keypoint G4 workstation. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our test menu. We're going to select the muscle of interest. Uh, in this case we'll set up with the tibialis anterior muscle. The first thing you should do is of course go to the spontaneous activity screen and over here we are seeing what the muscle insertion is like and making sure that you're actually adequately in the muscle itself and that you're close to the motor unit. And I'll show you an example of this right now. We start off with the spontaneous activity window and we can see the motor units here. We then activate the MUP analysis program by clicking on MUP and the data is acquired. You can see the buffer mark expanding on the top right hand corner as the data is acquired. And then all we have to do is click on MUP analysis on the bottom left. You can either do this via the foot paddle with the left switch or directly on the control box. And we can just carry on adding data as the buffer fills. Once we've collected enough data, we can then activate the interference pattern program by clicking on it like so, and then clicking on the IP analysis box to capture data. We can either do this by the control box or again with the left paddle. What's very handy about this is that if I'm studying the patient's leg, for example, all I need to do is move backwards and bring back the foot paddle here. And so I can actually control the program down here where the feet would be just by using the controller like so without having to stretch up and find that MUP analysis button and so you can really work very quickly and I've actually done this on a number of occasions now where data acquisition has literally taken maybe a minute and a half, two minutes to actually do all of this and we have this wonderful and beautiful quantitative data. Once we've populated our cloud we can finish. There are a number of ways of selecting your MUPs we can either click on them directly like so and then move the cursors as to how we want them to be positioned. We can also use the window on the right to move the cursors as well. And we can even decide on what motor unit potentials we want to include or exclude. And within the right hand window, we can even click units off and on if we want them to be removed from the analysis. An alternative method of doing this is by clicking on the MUPS box like so and you can see an overview of all the MUPS that have been acquired. This is very useful looking for repeats or for motor units which one doesn't particularly wish to include for whatever reason. In this example we can see a tremendous amount of spontaneous activity within this particular muscle as well as these large neurogenic units. The problem with this scenario is that the fibrillations are occurring within the captured MUPS and so these will have to be excluded. This is a very important reason why we need to carefully check the spontaneous activity window prior to starting the MUP analysis. So all in all, it's really, really simple, really, really easy to do all of this. Um, in fact, from my own experience with this uh, so far, I can acquire all the relevant data in about two minutes, and it takes about another two or three minutes just to quickly go through all the data and adjust the MUPS accordingly. So it's a really wonderful system. It's really easy to use and very easy to implement into routine clinical practice. Um, uh, just a couple of points uh, I would say is that quantitative EMG doesn't really work particularly well for acute denervation um, from what I've seen so far. 
and so I wouldn't particularly recommend this as a surrogate for really knowing what your EMG is about. So it's a useful tool, it's an excellent technique for expanding your capabilities, for example in perhaps patients who are somewhat confused or have difficulties in activating their muscles and there's irregular recruitment um, and it's a nice objective way of looking at what's going on with the motor units, are they wide, are they extra large, and that's a very useful technique. Um, additionally for children, paediatric practice, um, exceptionally useful again, um, and you can just easily acquire all the data that you need and then process it afterwards very simply, uh, very effectively. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's useful to you, and that's how we do quantitative EMG with Keypoint.net. Thank you.